Hello, it's uh, Balter again. Three months ago, I uploaded a video demonstrating an expression parser I created that allowed the user to create uh, custom mathematical expressions to run on the ECU. Initially, this was all I planned to do, but I solved it much faster than anticipated, so I decided to challenge myself a little more. And what I have created now is a fully functional uh, programming environment that compiles code to run on the ECU. It is not based on any existing uh, programming language. And while to the untrained eye it may look like C code, let me assure you, it does not have all of the features or all of the death traps of C. Uh, so let's get on with the demo. I'm running this on an MPC1 controller, and this will be the initial release, but once it is more uh, refined, I anticipate releasing it for all of my engine controllers as well. You can see in the uh, configuration tree there's a new branch now called Custom Strategies. And there we have the program code itself, the configuration items, the flash variables that store those configuration items and the real-time variables. To create a program, let's start with our real-time variables. In an attempt to keep the video short, I've uh, written all of the code in advance. And here I am declaring three real-time variables that can be manip manipulated by the program. Let's make the variables we just created uh, visible on the screen. Next, we have the flash variables, which are configuration that's stored on the controller itself. Uh, these can be uh, manipulated by the uh, calibrator application. And since the calibrator application is quite powerful and flexible, it is also necessary to define a way to edit these variables. And that is done in the configuration items section. Here we define how the variables that are to be edited directly by the tuner are displayed in the configuration tree. And you will see we now have a new section in the configuration, a new branch in the tree. And uh, Let's populate them with some configuration before we enter our code. I hope to create a user graphical user interface uh, to aid with the creation of the variables in the future, but for now the, the code for that must be entered manually. Um, so the last step is to write some program code. Here we have a couple of functions and uh, one variable that is uh, local to the program and not uh, does not spill into uh, anything else that the ECU is doing. Um, the init function is what runs uh, when, when the program starts. And 
if the init function uh, does not configure any callbacks, then no further code will be run. Uh, in this case, the init function zeroes the run count variable, uh, assigns uh, a constant value to the barometer variable, and creates a callback to the foo function, which is run 100 times per second. And the foo function performs a lookup in the, the map that we created and it increments the run count variable as well as uh, doing some basic arithmetic. And you will see that now our program has started running and the run count is, is counting up and, and if I adjust the input voltage the uh, the other variables will display varying uh, states. Um, these variables can now be used as inputs to these use existing strategies. They can be assigned to outputs or they can be transmitted via CAN bus. Um, and on the engine controllers there will be uh, there will be more callbacks available. Uh, there will be callbacks that run every time the engine completes uh, a rotation or and also callbacks which get called every time the uh, built-in strategies assign something uh, to an output like fuel quantity, spark angle or whatever. The, the, uh, the user program can override the assignment and receive a callback that takes the original value as a parameter and can modify the value or override it completely if needed. I think this is an exciting option for tuners who for some reason need custom control strategies without having to start with a blank slate. Starting with a working controller and adding to it saves a lot of time. Um, I would love to hear your input on this and answer any questions. Goodbye for now.